Unavailable balances, cards declined. Those are just some of the issues Truist customers are facing. This all happening after SunTrust and BB&T merged almost a month ago. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake spoke with some of the frustrated customers about the continuing problems. It's been over a month now, and some customers say they are still having issues accessing their money with Truist. One customer even going as far as taking all of their money out and going to a new bank. Karen Hatchett and her husband, among those who became Truist bankers after the SunTrust BB&T merger. The couple own a gun shop, and after the merge, they received a return check for insufficient funds, even though they say they had plenty of money in their account. We cannot access our funds. We cannot pay our vendors. We were locked when vendor was thinking we had insufficient funds when that was not the case. Hatchet says calls to Truist brought no solution, leaving them frustrated and stressed. That was the end of the line for us. We got the money out and went to another bank institution. The Hatchets were not the only ones still having issues after BB&T and SunTrust merged. Hundreds of you commented on our Facebook post saying you were having some sort of issue when the merge happened on February 19th. Since then, problems have been resolved for some. But for others, like Felicia Andrews, the struggle continues. Everything that I had on that debit card number is no longer clearing. So, of course, I'm getting a lot of calls. Andrews isn't switching banks just yet. She hopes the issues will work themselves out. Overall, everything else, same people at the same building, just a new name and we'll work through it. That's what happens with the merger. A spokesperson for Truist addressed the ongoing issues about a week ago, saying, quote, at this time, there are no broad system issues, but there are some clients who are still experiencing individual challenges. Our wait times are steadily improving, and we're working diligently to provide these clients the care and attention they deserve, end quote. WFMY reached out to Truist and haven't heard back just yet. In Greensboro, Amber Lake, WFMY News 2. Thanks, Amber. Whether you're a Truist customer or not, the Federal Trade Commission says if your card gets declined, it could be blocking. The FTC says blocking is when a bank puts a hold on a portion of your available credit. If a debit card is blocked, you could bounce a check or have a payment declined. To avoid blocking, the FTC recommends you ask about it. Does your bank allow blocking? If so, how much? It could help you avoid problems in the future.